Good morning, welcome back. Well, it's hard to believe, but November will already be here at the end of the week, and November is known to be Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System is Dr. Kurt Edel, and he's going to be talking to us more. He works in the Cancer Center, uh, really about a program that Gunderson offers that wants to shine light on lung cancer and raise awareness. Good morning. Good morning, how are you this morning? I'm doing well, thank you. So first of all, when is this event and what will it entail? Uh, this event is on uh, Tuesday the 5th. Uh, it's here at Gunderson and it's an event primarily just to raise awareness for uh, lung cancer. What are some of the things that you really want people to know in regards to lung, lung cancer statistics? Well, uh, obviously lung cancer statistics lag behind most other cancers. It's a it's a, it's a very difficult disease to treat, but uh, one thing we do want people to be aware of is one is it is a changing field. It's a rapidly changing field. Uh, and two, uh, we're starting to see um, better screening for this disease that we didn't have before. So it, it's a fast changing field, let me say that. When you talk about screenings, when is a time and what are the recommendations for screenings and when should they start and who should be getting them? Okay, good question. Up until now, there hasn't been a good screening tool, and just recently, CT scan for uh, lung cancer uh, has made a big splash. Uh, currently, um, the um, recommendations are for patients over the age of 55 to 74 who have a significant smoking history uh, to get a CT scan. Um, Right now, it's still in a preliminary phase in terms of being able to be uh, uh, covered uh, by insurance, but we anticipate that to uh, happen sometime in the near future. So for uh, people who have a significant smoking history, I think it's important that they're talking to the physicians about screening. And when you talk about smoking history, I mean, we oftentimes hear about that being, you know, one of the leading causes, but what are some things that people really can do in their everyday life to help prevent or lessen their risk of getting lung cancer? Well, unfortunately, that, that's still the biggest um, recommendation is to cut your risk of smoking. So if you're a current smoker, do everything you can to stop smoking. That will significantly reduce the risk. Um, if you um, certainly not starting smoking and reducing your risk of secondhand smoke. Those are unfortunately still remain the biggest uh, risk factors in whatever you can do to mitigate that risk. And by smoking, how much does that increase your risk of getting lung cancer? Well, we know that uh, for people who have a long time smoking uh, history, uh, the risk of developing lung cancer is about 20%, but we also know that there's a significant risk for other smoking-related diseases, heart disease, emphysema, um, uh, vascular disease. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, that event shining a light on uh, lung cancer and all of the programs and screenings and everything, the new advancements coming up on November 5th, and thanks for sharing those details. Thank you.